All right, guys, so I was just on live action with some comments. Do we understand what grace is? We are the pro-lifers. We're the people who believe in God, right? There is no doubt in my mind that abortion is wrong. 100%, every single case, never an exception, right? But do we give people grace? Do we give them grace? There was this girl who was rushed by an ambulance, which is common, with the abortion industry. It's common to see these girls hemorrhaging and dying almost over abortion, okay? I have seen comments that are so ugly, like, oh good, I'm glad she's dying. She deserved it. She got what she needed or she got what she deserved. Why is she at an abortion clinic? Do you know that women who usually go to an abortion clinic are desperate? They are there needing help. That is the real cry. They need help. That's what they're there for. Unfortunately, we have politicians, the president, um, many people who are more than happy in the name of help to kill her baby. This is not real help, and we know that. But at the same time, when we see women needing help or people in general, we're the first to condemn. We're the first to say, good, I'm glad you got what you deserved. Do you know we should be the most gracious people in the world as Christians? Because Jesus gave us grace. He died for us. So we should be gracious to people, right? I have seen so much stuff in the church. And I'm not saying it's all bad. There's a lot of good in the church. But I have seen people call people vicious. I've seen just for a woman standing up for herself. I have seen name calling. I have seen ostracizing. I have seen rotten stuff when women are coming to Christ. People are trying to go to church. They're trying to get to know God. And they are pushed by other way. I had some customers today who supposedly were a bunch of church people, right? And the way they behaved toward a waitress was rude. And these are the type of people who push people away from church. Same thing in the abortion industry, okay? We need people who are there to truly help girls, not sit there and condemn them, help them heal. And then in the abortion industry, before women are even healed, we heap coals of burdens on them and say, well, you know, in the name of trying to help you heal, you have to take a class about forgiveness. You have 12 weeks. I think it's great to have a class, but to burden women when they have had trauma and you don't know them and you expect them in 12 weeks to ask God to forgive them, it ain't happening. There is so much that's happened. And most of the time that choice is made within the context of others who have pressured them or they didn't know. It's not always, the choice is not always really a real choice with informed consent. They didn't know what they didn't know. Just like Brooke Shields, I did a video on, didn't know what she didn't know when she was doing videos or movies at a very young age as a kid. You cannot take a kid or someone who has so much trauma in their life and they made a decision and they didn't know what they didn't know. So we need to start really helping women who are crying out for help and let their own conscience ask, have them ask God for forgiveness. Not the false guilt where they can't even handle being able to go to God and say, God, would you forgive me? Because they don't even... They don't even know what they're dealing with yet. So we got a lot more work to help women.